Approaching the music itself, we are going to examine the musical innards of jazz to find out, once and for all, what it is that sets it apart from all other music. Jazz is a very big word. It covers a multitude of sound, and much more. It is all jazz, and I love it all. I love it because it's an original kind of emotional expression, in that it is never wholly sad or wholly happy. That is what intrigues me about jazz. It's unique, a form of expression all its own. Then I love it for its humor. It really plays with notes. But jazz is real play. It fools around with notes, so to speak. It has fun with them. It is therefore entertainment in its truest sense. But I find I have to defend jazz to those, for instance, who say it is low class. Besides, there has always been a certain shadow of indignity around music, particularly around the players of music. I suppose it is due to the fact that historically, players of music seem to lack the dignity of composers of music. This is especially true of jazz, which is almost completely a player's art, depending as it does on improvisation rather than on composition. This means that the player of jazz is himself the real composer which gives him a creative and therefore more dignified status. But then there are those who argue that jazz is loud. Besides, it's not always loud. It is very often extremely delicate. But that is not the fault of jazz itself. However, the main argument against jazz has always been that it is not art. I think it is art in a very special way. But before we can argue about whether it is or not, we must know what it is. And so I propose to share with you some of the things I know and love about jazz.